Welcome back to IAS Tech. In this video, I will show you that how you can install Tailwind CSS in your React application. I will start it doing from very scratch. So I will create a new React project so that you can understand how you can do it from the beginning. So first of all, open the documentation of the Tailwind CSS and uh, here click on the framework guide and uh, go to the bottom here you can see they have documentation for the create react app just click on that so these are uh, the all of the steps that you have to follow so very first step is that you have to create your react uh, application so just copy this command that is npx space create dash react dash app and space then you have to specify your project name so let's try that okay just press type y and press enter and wait for some time meanwhile i'm going to copy the other commands so that i could paste them as well in the step two you have to install the tailwind css as the dev dependency so just copy it and come back here okay the react app has been installed now we have to open this application in the vs code for that first of all we need to go into that folder type cd space my dash project press enter now i will open it in vs code okay my react app has been opened in the vs code now open your terminal and paste the command that we have copied from the documentation so this is the command that would install the tailwind css press enter if you install it you will see this tailwind css as a dev dependency in your package.json here okay now let's go back to the documentation and here we have to initialize the tailwind css if you run it then it will generate a new file tailwind.config.js file in this file uh, there will be all of the configuration that you want to add in your tailwind so let's do that okay i have initialized it and you can see that in a new file <coughs> has been generated so <coughs> in the next option uh, in the next step you have to copy paste uh, this piece of configuration in your tailwind.config.js so with that it will watch all of these <coughs> files all of the files that uh, with uh, these extensions under the source directory so if you make any change uh, in uh, the file with these format with these extensions then uh, it will auto uh, rerun the compiler and it will compile those changes for you so if you make if you have some file outside of the source directory directory it will not compile it so if you want to compile a file that is outside of the source directory you have to specify that manually for now this is sufficient for us so we can start testing it before uh, testing we have to complete this last step where you have to copy paste this these three lines and paste them in the index.css file that you have here in the source directory put it on the top of your file and save now you just have to start your application for that in the package.json you have this command that you can just run to start your application so let's start the application npm run start okay the react app has been uh, opened in our chrome browser and it is working perfectly fine now it's time to test that if tailwind css is working fine so for that open your component and I'm going to replace all of the HTML here with the 
new element h1 tag with the tailwind css classes so this should increase the text size this should uh, make it bold and this should make it underlined so let's see if that works okay you can see that it is working fine so that's main tailwind tailwind css has been installed correctly and working fine so it's ready to be used in your project to uh, test further uh, you can try for some other ready-made uh, pieces of code uh, just to see how it is going to look in your application just find <clears throat> some interesting example from here and then you can just copy paste the code in your in your html replace the h1 tag with this one and let's try it okay i reloaded that and i can see that it is working perfectly fine just the image is missing we just have to provide the correct image path then it should start working so in the image tag just replace this one with the proper url and you can see it is also working if you want to try some other example you can just find any interesting example that you want to try for you uh, for example i want to if i want to create this player this music player just copy all of this code and paste here and there are some issues in html we have to fix them let's see what is the issue actually we should have we should wrap all of the code in one element now it should just work fine okay reload your application and you can see that uh, the audio player is working fine we just have to add the missing image urls and okay all right you can see that it is looking great and it is working perfectly fine so you saw that we just uh, uh, added these uh, class names and tailwind css is adding all of the styles for you so this is really helpful and very developer friendly so i hope that this video was useful for you if you have any questions then please leave them in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon also please like and share this video thanks for watching see you next time